your part-time mindset is keeping you from full-time income. Just the other day, someone emailed me. I was filling spots for my next mastermind group, and someone told me that the price I was charging was, quote, out of range for her right now. And over the past five years, I've come to realize that people are often unwilling to do what is necessary to achieve their goals. As an example, someone told me just the other day that their weight loss program was kind of on hold or it had stalled the last month. I don't know, maybe she was busy, but not getting, not willing to get up early, not willing to change the diet. Do you see what I mean? Not willing to do what is necessary to achieve our goals. It's like the slight edge principle. It's what is easy today will become hard tomorrow, and what is hard today will become easy tomorrow. Like getting up early and working out, going to the gym, eating healthy is hard today, you know, when you really want a cheeseburger or whatever. And tomorrow or 10 years from now, and you're overweight and you're unhappy, you see it's, it's, or the other way around. I think I said that the other way around. But at the same time, doing what is easy, eating that cheeseburger will make you overweight and unhealthy 10 years from now. And the same thing goes for building your business, starting your podcast, getting your blog, up and going because it takes a lot of time now. And I don't want to say it goes on autopilot, but it does get easier as you get into a routine and you've built up a list of clients and testimonials or content that you can point people to. But while I understand and embrace this importance of the side hustle that you might have, one of my good friends, Nick Loper, talks about the side hustle, side hustle nation, all that stuff. I've also learned that your part time mindset is part of, if not a lot of, what is keeping you from the full time success and income and results that you want. And your mentality of, oh, I will when I have time, that is putting a full stop on you achieving your dream. So sometimes part-time is okay. There are some things in life where you don't mind working with someone who is a part-time worker. So we'll circle back to why this is important for you and you're building your business in a, in a second. So sometimes there is there in life there are times when you're okay hiring a part-time person. Babysitters, hairstylists, the kid who mows your lawn. These are all great things to do on a part-time basis and we don't mind hiring people who are part-time in those jobs, in those professions. But when it comes to building a business or building your business, you cannot be part-time. I'm sorry, but you can't. When you are designing a life you love, you can't be interested only some of the time. But a small part of me understands the person, the individual who told me that they were unwilling to invest in in themselves by signing up to join a mastermind. And I actually just got a text from one of my good friends who, when he was looking at my upcoming event, the Mastermind Weekend, which you can find at ellerywells.com slash mm, like mastermind, mm weekend. And he said, you know, those are not really things that I am interested in learning, which was we're going to focus on content development or content marketing Uh, scaling and automation and email marketing. And he said he wasn't willing to spend the money on that right now. It's kind of dumb. I bet he's going to be six months down the road and not much farther than he is today. I don't want him to be. I'm not wishing that on him. But I've seen it, guys. I've seen. I've just seen it. Is it worth the, the money to stall and just still be where you are today in six months or 12 months? Is it worth that to you? Maybe it is. I don't know. But I can understand that person, and I can understand my friend who is not willing to invest in themselves. But however, side note, if you're not willing to invest in yourselves, why would anybody invest in you? Just throwing that out there. Because when I first started, I would have been very hesitant to spend the kind of money for something intangible, like not a product that you can hold in your hand, and where the results were not guaranteed. Like I'm about to buy some stuff for photography uh, doing some videography uh, on Amazon here in just a minute, and 
that's something that you can hold. A mastermind is not something that you can hold. Cult- coaching is not something that you can hold. Or this mastermind weekend, you cannot hold it in your hand. Although that, you can you can visit and it's a physical place and it's over a couple days and you get a bunch of stuff with it. So they're slightly different. But the larger part of me, the part that's put in the years of work, I'm coming up on, actually I'm over five years worth of blogging. The part of me that has invested thousands of dollars in personal development books, conferences, those kinds of things, and the part that's seen the results that my clients have achieved, that part of me does not understand at all. When I see my friend texting me and I says, I don't want to do this, I'm thinking, you have watched me do what I've done over the last five years, and I talk about how everything I've done, you can do too, and he's not willing to do it. As we've talked about several times on the show, you might have heard me talk about that successful people don't, or or we're going to get to a little bit more here in a second, but that the people who are really driven and successful and that are action-oriented and moving forward, we don't have time to work with, put up with, deal with, wait on people who are just kind of like, yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. Do you see how that fits in? If your part-time efforts are simply a means to an end, like flipping burgers to make extra cash while in high school, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. However, if you want people to take you seriously, you can't bring your part-time game to the big leagues. I think that's a big distinguisher. Too many part-time people want to get a seat at the table with the full-time people and the pros. Don't ask because they're going to say no and you're going to get your feelings hurt. And if they do, they're going to end up being frustrated because you don't move at the speed with uh, the same speed that they do. They've made the investment and you can't. And I don't like saying like they've paid their dues. I think that's stupid because new people can add fresh perspectives. New people can move very fast. And just because you've, quote, paid your dues or you've been in the industry longer doesn't mean you are better. Like, did you know there's hazing? In the Supreme Court, Uh, I don't know the guy, I can't remember the guy's name, Scalera or something, that just got promoted. They're hazing that dude. He's got to be on cafeteria duty, and he's got to be the one that, that opens the doors when somebody knocks on the judge's chamber. Just because you've been there longer doesn't mean you deserve different treatment. However, when you do step into the big leagues, you are going to be expected to have a big league mindset. Not a big league. Which, by the way, that's not what Trump was saying, not bigly. He was saying big league. When you get to the big leagues, you have to, i got to articulate it. When you get to the big leagues, you've got to have a big league mindset and not a part-time one. But the difference is a skill versus will. And I think most things come down to that. Skill versus will. As with most things in life, the issue is either one or skill or one of skill, or one of will. When it comes to completing any task, we either have the skill to do it, or we don't. We either have the will to see it through, or we don't. At any point of failure, the cause can usually be placed or found in one of those two categories. If you have the skill, but fail to finish, you lack the will to do everything necessary. Conversely, if you don't have the skill, you can often muster up enough will to make up for your lack of skill and see your goal achieved. And that's also pretty important because talent is not really all that important. In this case, in this example, your skill is not necessarily important. Sure, it does make a difference when you get into these big leagues when when tiny tweaks are what makes all the difference. But if you have the sweat equity, if you're willing to put in the effort, you can usually outperform and get better results than the person who has the skill or has the uh, extra talent that that you don't. But we either have the skill to achieve our goals or we don't possess the will to do what is necessary. And that's okay for some people, but not for me. And I I don't think if you are listening to this show or you read the blog or you're working nights and weekends and putting in 20 hours to build your business after you get home from your 40 hour a week job, that's you You don't want to deal with the people who don't possess the drive that you do. You're just going to pass them up and they're going to drag you down. And I don't want to sound negative to those people, but 
as you become more successful, you, if you haven't already seen this, by the way, you will know that you you have to select your friends and the people who you spend time with even better. And those people have to be moving at the same uh, same speed you do. But I only want to work with the best, most driven people out there. I bet you do too. But like the attorney who only takes cases he can win, I only work with people I know I can help. A good coach can help you with the skill but no coach can give you the will. That's a good distinction too. The skill can be trained or taught or it can be, you can be born with it, but the will comes from, can you, (laughs) deep inside. It's, it's the heart that somebody can show up to the game with. But part-time doesn't always work. When you fly into a rage about me saying you will never be successful if you're only part-time, let me say something. Did that, did that, make um, make you mad you will never be successful if you're only part-time anyway part-time works if and only if you are all in during your part-time building your business on the side is 100 percent fine with me if you're 100 percent focused during the time you have but that's not often the case you got to eliminate dis- distractions you've got to make an agenda and a schedule and an outline of what needs to be done but it's like the guy who shows up for tryouts but is only there to mess around he wastes everyone's time did you ever do that in high school like you've been playing this was me We've been playing soccer, you know, for, for 10, 12, 13 years at this point. And then you get the guy who, you know, sucks because you've seen him, you've grown up with the guy and he just wants to show up and mess around and waste your time and just try to see, Hey, if, if you can, if he can get on the team, so can I. And it's, it's just there to waste your time. The pros, those who live and breathe this stuff all day, every day can spot a part-time mindset and and a part-time attitude a mile away, and we stay away from it. For a pro, time is a valuable asset. For a part-timer, time is something to be wasted, and there can't be a middle ground. You can't on at one time waste something and then on the other time, on another hand, at another time, place a significant amount of value on it you can't say oh i'm gonna buy this diamond ring one day and then the next day "Eh, this doesn't mean anything i'm just gonna i'm just gonna throw it around and throw it in the trash so when you show up with your part-time mindset the pros in the room are going to ignore you while pros respect and understand and relate to the full-time hustle on the part-time schedule they have no patience for a part-time attitude And maybe maybe to tie in with the the title today, it's that part-time attitude is what is keeping you from full-time success and income. You wouldn't hire a part-time attorney to defend your case, would you? You wouldn't want a bypass surgery from a part-time doctor, would you? You wouldn't bet the success of your wedding on a part-time wedding planner, would you? Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> that, that one's not quite uh, as as life threatening, but it is pretty important. You could be a part time babysitter, but you can't be a part time parent. If you want to play in a band on the weekends, that's fine, go for it. But don't be upset when you get out hustled by the guy or girl who spends every waking moment making music and making their art. If you wouldn't want to work with a part timer, why would you want to be a part timer yourself? Okay, and before you totally tune me out and you're like Ellery I don't have time for this I've got bills I I I'm not saying I don't have time and I don't want to work with and I don't want to partner with or buy from or hire or sell to or any, with part-time people because I'm about to tell you the difference because there's a place for part-time on the road to full-time if that's your goal but here but there's a difference while I don't have time for a part-time mindset, I have tremendous, and I think most most pros and most uh, full-time people do too, we have a tremendous amount of respect for the part-time hustle. In fact, most of my clients, including myself, started as part-time entrepreneurs before they were able to go full-time. But here's what I mean. A part-time mindset is one that's a take-it-or-leave-it approach to success. If it happens, great. 
But those people, the ones with a part-time mindset, they're not putting everything on the line to make it happen. And that's an issue of will. Remember, skill and will. A full-time mindset is one where someone is all in. They have no fallback plan, no backup plan, and they are doing anything and everything necessary to make things happen and gets results and get results, whatever I said. When there's an issue, it's usually one of skill. But remember, if you have a lot of will, you can overcome a lack of skill. And then there's a full-time mindset with a part-time schedule. And this goes back to when I was saying they're different. So if this is you, we're okay. But a full-time mindset with a part-time schedule is when someone has a job that requires their full-time attention, but they spend their extra moments busting their butts to do something amazing. And though this person may not have all of the time available that a full-time person would, the time they do have is focused and their energies are very, very targeted. A full-time mindset with a part-time schedule produces winners. A part-time mindset, whether it's full-time schedule or part-time schedule, a part-time mindset produces missed marks and unrealized dreams. And I hope that's not you. That's a miserable place when you just stick a toe in. Well, here's an analogy. You know I love analogies, and it's been a while, I feel like, since I've used one. It's like when you just stick a toe in, you can't really enjoy the full benefits of of the pool or the hot tub. And the same thing goes with building your business. So in summary, this there are, there is a place for part-timers. And yes, I know that not everyone has the desire to, to make a full-time income from their business. And yes, I know that I might become coming off as fairly intense. But who cares? The most successful people are very intense. Anyway, However, I have seen the situation time and time again where an aspiring entrepreneur is tied down, weighed down by their mindset, their limiting beliefs, their lack of self-confidence. And those ties are keeping them and they might be keeping you from doing something that you really love to do and maybe would, well, would likely benefit the world tremendously. And if you don't fully commit, you can't fully fail. So there's there's a mindset there that is probably hold it could be. I don't want to say probably that could be holding you back. When you go all in, you can fail big time. The bigger the dream, or the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And the bigger the dream, whenever it's unrealized, the more embarrassment and and hurt you could possibly be exposing yourself to. So let me say that again. If you don't fully commit, you can't fully fail. So that's why a lot of people just kind of sit there again with maybe a foot in the pool, not really, not really committing. Because here's the thing, and this is the the last thing that I'll mention to you and I want to leave for you. Your mindset will dictate your results. Your mindset will dictate your results. Don't let your part-time way of thinking limit you. Thank you for listening. Here we are again. Um, I'm really do- enjoying doing the audio blog version and integrating that into the LRA Well show. So here's, if you stuck around, here's why I don't always release the audio version the same time that I do the uh, the written version. If you're curious, like why is there a week, sometimes a few days, maybe a couple weeks delay? It's because I split test. I, th- I don't know if I mentioned this. I split test the titles. So when I first published this, it was your part time mindset is keeping you from full time success. And the and actually, I have five titles here, and the one that has an increase in engagement by seventeen percent over the other ones. Uh, is what I just said a few minutes ago. Your part-time mindset is keeping you from full-time income. That's why there's the delay. So if you wonder, I mean, you can you can always ask. I I always tell people I don't have a, I don't have hardly anything to hide really, and I I don't mind telling you why I do some things. But that's why you might see a delay, something popping up in your podcast feed that you may have seen me sharing on social media for the blog. 
anyway, that's it. Uh, you have a wonderful day. It is it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to rain today here in in Round Rock. And side note, because I see a lot of podcasters talking about this, I edited a po- an episode just a few minutes ago, and it, I just finished right before, like less than probably ninety seconds before I heard the lawn care guy spinning up their weed eaters. So just a a, a sign of good luck today. Uh, if you're listening to this next uh, two weeks, uh, let's see. The first weekend in May, if you're in Toronto, reach out, say hello. I'm going to be there from the 4th through the 8th, and I would love to say hello, uh, You know, talk about the show, meet you, give you a hug. And then in June, I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot here, but I want you to go to ellerywellscom slash mmweekend. I'm putting on an event that I think you would really like. If you like this type of content and you're thinking, man, i really like to learn from Ellery, get access to his network and spend some time with him, go to ellerywells.com slash mmweekend, and there's a lot of details there, but I am hosting an event here in just over a month in June of 2017. Hopefully, it will be the second meeting, or second time I've held this event, but second in a long line of in-person live events that that you will, will be invited to. So I hope you're having an awesome day from Round Rock, Texas. I'm your host, Ellery Wells. Now go do something awesome. (laughs) 